How you doing, Mr. Outlaw? How you doing? Yeah, I guess you just called, but I didn't recognize that number. Because I got your name, you know, put okay. in for that. All right. Doing all right? Yeah, doing okay. <laughs> Sitting out there on the dock watching all the fish food swim around. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, you got the 19 inch wide one. <laughs> you can just set it down right there. I'm going to try to do it outside. Okay. Uh, so my camera will work pretty good. Right. See that right, many of them? Well, yours will be number 86. Are you serious? Yeah. You gonna be good then. That's Since right. I started working on them myself. Right. Used to be made by a fishing mate, but right. uh fishing mate was made from China. Uh-huh. And uh <laughs> that wasn't very good. <laughs> you know that's right. Well China claimed that uh they quit making the gearboxes. Dude. And I can't hardly believe that. Yeah, yeah. Is that where you mainly fish at in the surf? I surf here, either both of them, but yeah. I don't surf too much. I love that surf. I got three of them corks. Well, the surf fishing can be kind of slow sometimes. Oh, yeah, it can be kind of slow. Exactly right. When I surf fish, I generally go over to the uh, Barrier Island. Okay. Lee Island, uh -huh. is what it's called. And uh, camp out, stay all night. Oh, okay. Ain't never been over there? Yeah, you have to get a boat. have to have a boat to get over there. Oh. And uh, I put them, I put a set of these orange tires on my cart. Uh-huh. But, uh, when fishing mate came out with the orange tires to begin with, uh -huh. they had a white hub. Right. And it was breaking under the power. Right. So I don't know how those are going to do. Okay. I'm going to try them. <laughs> uh. Uh. I retired about two weeks and my company said, what do you want for retirement? Well, I used to have me a little fishing car. And we went look where we look, we look. <clears throat> and I called Jay, asked him where he got his from, and he told me about the fish. Uh-huh. And I told him where I, where I got to get it at, he said, go get it. We just paid for it. <laughs> well, that's good they did that for you.
clamping system. That's the clamping system. Been catching a lot of flounder. Where at? Back there in, my, in the backyard. Come on now, man. <laughs> got, my, got my boat tied up back there by the dock. <laughs> and uh, I'm lucky because I get live finger mullet all year. Oh, cuss you. Yeah, and they just now got to where they're net heads. Right. And what that means is they're just small enough to get hung in the net. <laughs> and uh. Dog. Oh, so you tell me the salt water right behind your house? Yeah, behind the house and on both sides of me. Oh my 
I don't much pay no attention to this and that, but back there is where I go fishing at. <laughs> No, I don't ever even catch a Virginia mullet. Are you serious? Never. Now I have been with one of these uh, fishermen that uh, he goes down to Wrightsville Beach. Uh -huh. When it's cold, so cold it's not running out of your nose. <laughs> and uh, he had a, a power kit and I went down there and replaced the motors for him. Uh -huh. And he said, hang out and fish with me and use the sand fleas. Right. About six rods out there boring every five seconds. Jay knows where that spot's at. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he do. I'm pretty sure Jay knows where it's at. Jay, it's low. He loves to do one. You say you want your T foot? Yeah, because uh, like I said, I got some more of these caught. I use them for pulse on that one. And them. <coughs> All right, got that mounted up right there. Need to put the control box on. Yeah, I had to buy them T foots. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I use for my battery box uh -huh. and the front caster wheel. Really? Yeah. Okay. But they gave me a pretty good deal on them. Okay, that ain't bad. I'll get them from fishing, mate. Right. Down one, which one you want to do. Why you why you why you do do with the camera on your head like that? I'm videoing this install. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I did one on the last guy that come coming uh picked up one, but we're doing it in the garage. Right. And you couldn't see very good. Okay. So okay. that's why I brought it out here nice, to do nice, it. Yeah.
Now, what's the life of the motors? Uh, they last a right good long time, but it depends on you know the the terrain that you're running in. Right. And most of the time, they last right good while. Okay. okay. And it's repairable. Oh, that's, that's it ain't too. something that if it breaks you got to throw it away. Everything on it's repairable. Okay, well, that's, good that's good to know.